then coming to beta rays right so already now discuss made the beta particles and then renu right right so these are high energy high speed electrons beta minus or positrons electrons or positrons beta plus or beta minus that are ejected from the nucleus by some radio nuclides during a form of radioactive decay called beta decay these are the results of beta decay just in the input code right beta particles are results of beta decay this can be negative as well as positive negative idre edakku namu beta minus electrons anta karithivi or positive idre yuka positrons anta karithivi right so beta decay normally occurs in nuclei that have too many neutrons to achieve stability actually neutrons jaasti idre beta decay aagutu neutrons number of neutrons jaasti idre beta decay aagutu right so ille beta minus decay yavaga aagutade electron emission an unstable atomic nucleus with excess of neutrons neutrons excess idre number of neutrons jaasti idre beta decay beta minus decay aagutade so yen aagutade neutron is converted into proton neutron is converted into proton and electron and an electron anti neutrino the anti particle of neutrino illi release aagutade bandu electron release aagutade bandu anti neutrino anti neutrino electron anti neutrino illi right so neutron is converted into proton matte one electron matte one electron anti neutrino right so in beta plus naga beta plus na yenakta positron positron emission anta na idu karithivi this is beta beta plus so so when unstable atomic nuclei with an excess of protons illi protons jaasti irtho right ava yenaagutade beta plus decay aagutade right alli yenaagutade pa andre the proton is converted into neutron the right sorry the proton is converted into the proton is converted into neutron the proton is converted into neutron a positron and a electron neutrino positron e plus is positron positron and that is electron anti neutrino electron neutrino clear okay so here in beta plus decay proton is converted into neutron sorry for this mistake right so proton is converted into neutron with an positron and anti electron anti neutrino whereas in beta minus decay neutron is converted into proton and one electron is emitted that is negative electron beta minus or e minus is But then the properties of beta rays beta rays do properties they do the beta particles have a mass which is half of 1000s of the mass of proton right so proton compare madidre it is of half of 1000 of the mass of proton right so beta has a medium penetrating power and medium ionizing power compared to other particles it is having medium penetrating power and medium ionizing power so most beta particles can be stopped by a few millimeters of aluminum in other one the aluminum sheet illi the pandre so just on the millimeters alli you now stop varabodu penetrating power is very less so being composed of charged particles beta radiation is more strongly ionizing than gamma radiation alpha compare madidre idu ionizing power kadime irutte but gamma compare madidre strongly ionizing compared to gamma okay so they can reach relativistic speeds close to speed of light whereas alpha particle only 5 to 7% of the speed of light okay alpha particles but beta particle enadala oh approximately close to speed of light actually idu mass kadime irutte so 
beta particles can travel through many centimeters or even meters or a to the millimeters of skin or tissues you tissue na jasti penetrate maartu yakandre ivu less ionizing highly ionized idre penetrate jasti agalla less ionized idre jasti penetrate tissue alli clear so ivu less ionizing irodrinda tissue alli jasti penetrate aguvanta capacity right so sufficient intensity of beta radiation can cause burn rather like severe sunburn sunburn kinu severe age burn aagabodu skin mele right so in, if beta emitting radionuclides are inhaled right so yav uh, nucleus yav nucleides yav nucleuses ee beta emission annu maartavu avu nedu andra swallow maadidre athwa inhale maadidre right it can damage to internal cells and organs can damage internal cells or So we have to be very careful about this radioactive element. So then you would use it. Beta radiation use it. The beta particles can be used to treat health conditions such as eye, bone cancer, and also used as tracers. Right? So to treatment the eye and bone cancers. Beta particles are used in quality control to test the thickness of an atom. thickness of an atom andre one aluminum sheets na vittre one few millimeters varigu stop maadabodala andre avu millimeters varigu penetrate avabodu eshtu penetrate aagtavala adri mele avu thickness measure maadu right so trishin is used in some phosphorescent lighting phosphorescent lighting andre different colors in emission aagtavala lighting alli adralli navu idana use maartivi beta radiation yavudu trishium annu element na avu use maartivi for emergency lighting as it requires no power okay no power bekayile because decay process it can power bekayila so fluorine 18 is commonly used as a tracer for positron emission tomography tomography ene eno na andre adu navu kalithivi next ct alli ct scan anta navu en karthivala adu adralli navu idu tomography andre enanta navu kalithivi just nen bitkodi fluorine 18 is used for tracer for positron emission tomography that is abbreviated as eet positron emission tomography li navu fluorine 18 annu element use martivi with beta ray so you use of beta rays right so the so next navu ee gamma rays mat avagra properties uses matte x ray x ray jav tar padas idu varigu navu x ray andre yen anta navu study madilla so now ನಾವು ಎಕ್ಸರೈಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಅವು ಯಾವ ತರ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗ್ತವೆ ಅದರ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಏನು ಯೂಸಸ್ ಏನು ಇವನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾ